Hi guys, this is going to be a little uh, organizing your art room video, part two and a half, I think. Anyway, we're going to talk about drying your work. It's yeah, so just really quick to give you some ideas. So I like to hang up most of my work. And when I say that, I mean painty papers, tags, things that aren't drippy, right? You only have so much area on your work desk. And I don't know about you, but I, even when I'm working on journals, I'm never just working on one. Um, journals, are, you can't really hang up. Uh, but you have to have a place to put them while they're drying and hopefully someplace out of the way so you can work on something else on your table. I'm going to turn the camera around here for a minute and I'm going to walk you through a few things I do. Okay, here's my table. <laughs> so when I'm working um, on my table, yeah, it generally looks like this. <laughs> um, I work here and then I want to keep working. So what I've been working on needs some place to dry, not some place to go so I can just keep going. Um, for journals, they can go over here. So I have this shelf and I have this area which obviously has stuff piled on it right now because I had to clear all the journals off and then I have that down there. So I can work on a few journals at once and I can have them here drying while I'm still working on the table. My table is pretty big. It's an old office conference table. It is on casters. There we go. Two locking ones so it doesn't roll around too much. And I can also put things to the side. You see I was making paper today, so I've got things drying over there. Um, and so the table is big, but that being said, you all know as well as I do, once we all get going, it doesn't take long to fill this spot up so that there's not even an inch of square empty space on there. Um, so I have another wire shelf at the end, other end of the table. And as you can see, all except the top shelf are empty generally and this is actual drying space. I was making handmade paper today and I have things on cookie sheets so they're drying and they're stacked so that air can flow around them. I can put the biggest one on the floor. If I don't have paper or something like that drying on here I definitely can stack up my journals and I've got as many as 10 over here I think in various sizes and it's a great out of the way space to have things dry. Uh, that being said, when I'm jelly printing and doing that sort of thing, th this is not enough space. I have hooks that I can hang on these wire shelves at either end of the table and those wire shelves way over there. But then the problem is I literally I can fill this whole thing up so you can't see those baskets and then I can't and I can do the top. I can do the middle and the bottom with so many papers once I get going and then I can't get to anything that's back there. This is the stack of painty papers I jelly printed today. So, we have this. Julie Fafan Bowser, whose channel I will link below, showed one of these on one of her social media posts. And I went, aha, <laughs> it's a great idea. It's a laundry rack. I'll link the, the Amazon listing where I got it in the description below. And I can hang these clip hooks from it. And I can hang them, a lot of them, on one bar all the way across. And then we have these bars here at the bottom. And plus I can still lay something on the netting, which, which is, I think, where sweaters and things are supposed to go down there. It works like a charm. Now these hooks are from Daiso. I do know they sell them on Amazon, so I'll try to find a link for you all in the description below. And um, something that's of a similar size that will work. Um, but it's a great solution for drying things, and when you're not using it, it folds up flat and fits in a closet. Um, so if you have the space for it, something like that. If you don't have the space for it, you can use the edge of a shelf to hang thing, a wire shelf to hang things on. I did that for years in the old space. I do have one more thing I want to show you. Hang on. So these are all the clip hooks I have for use on that, or if I choose to do so uh, for use on the wire shelves if I'm getting completely crazy. Um, but that folding rack is going to work like a charm, I think. Um, but then, you know, then the thing is where to put this basket of hooks. I don't really need it out all the time. I had this for years. 
This was in my grandmother's stash of things. It has the initials embroidered on it, CB, which I think are my great-grandmother's initials. Her name was Chisita. She was Italian. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a clothespin bag. It would work for these clip hooks, I think. Let's try it. And I could tie it to the rack, and it could just live there with the hooks in it. And then I know where it's at, and it's with the rack that it goes with. Holy cow, this is bigger than it looks. Grandma did a lot of laundry. Look at that. And I can use the ties on it to tie it to the center uh, post of the rack and it can just live there. Clothespin bag. You could use a drawstring bag, you could use anything really. So there you go, just a quick, I, and, and you know if you have something like this and you want it at your work table, I definitely could tie this to the side of one of the wire shelves at my work table. So, you know, think, think outside the box a little bit. What do you have that might work? Um, or what can you get that's inexpensive that might work? All right, that's it for today and for this episode of organizing your craft room. Um, we're going to keep doing a few of these episodes and I'm going to get my friends to help me. Um, and hopefully we can help you all figure out what to do with your space. If you would like to follow me on social media and see what I'm up to or support the free content here on face, uh, here on Facebook. Here on YouTube, we're over on Facebook in the Facebook groups. Uh, you can definitely do that or follow me on social media uh, by using the Linktree link in the description below. You'll find my Patreon, my Etsy shop, my Amazon store, where to buy my book, all that stuff, uh, along with Instagram links and Twitter and everything else. Um, so go check it out. Um, my happy mail address is down there too, should you do, choose to do so. And uh, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. That's it for right now. Bye, guys.